Good morning everyone and welcome back to the Two-Headed Wolf Gaming Channel as we're continuing our campaign through Mountain Blade 2 and we managed to win our very first tournament during the last episode which brought us a teal horse which we can't use yet, we're gonna have to wait for a very long time until we get riding to 80, we just got it to 30 right now but whatever the case may be we have some spare mounts which will increase the speed of the party we also get some extra storage so overall we'll be pretty happy even with this win and if we ever need 13,000 gold we can sell it probably not gonna do that for a very long time I mean this is our prized horse right so no really no real need to do this Okay, with that in mind, let's take a look at our party because we have a few members who could be upgraded right now and we do need a few more Sturgeon soldiers. Mm, what do we want here? Do we want more spears or do we want some line breakers? Line breakers are two-handed warriors which long war sword and real two-handed sword. This could be very good but at the same time without protection it can also mean a lot of death so let's just make a bunch of spears for now over on this side we could either go with brigands which will bring us to having cavalry or go for archers you know what i believe that it's probably the right time to start investing in cavalry since we are here let's give away Let's see, where is it? The tavern? Yeah, we'll give away, we'll ransom our prisoners. Almost 500 there, we got another point in roguery, which is good. Caravan ambush, can I talk to Please you? To you Let's see, my name is... and... You have some problems with this, my caravan master will pay you 1400 when the fight is over. will bait them i've paid some of my work to spread rumors about a particularly fat caravan laden with silverware heading out towards varnapol okay let's wreck it what do we do we can send one of our lieutenant and 27 of our men that is a lot let's do it ourselves and let's see so bulgara Bulgard is there, Varnapol is to the south. Do we just have to go in that direction? A merchant from Sibir, okay. He suspects the fake caravan will be attacked on its way to Varno Varnovapol, so he wants you to follow the caravan from a safe distance. Okay, and then join the battle. So this is the caravan. What we need to do is stay away from it just for a while. And yeah, probably those raiders will engage with the caravan. Yep. And so we will be joining this battle, right? So it's going to be us against them. So let us attack. Forces! You can see that we have combined forces here. But they're mostly recruits from the caravan. You can see that they they have some of the goods, they have some of the horses here, like you can take out at least, like you can do damage to them, you don't have to really have to defeat attack. them. For now, let's attack. Ooh, they... They have a lot of horses here. But once they're within this area like once they they are together like that they're not really going to cause too much damage okay one is down hmm. didn't hit any of them so far i really have to pick a target here mm, just like that you can see this is why long Weapons are really good on horseback, that's why sometimes you need a spear. Hey, that's almost 
gone. And uh, let's see. Okay, there's one more cavalry there. I don't think we've taken too many losses. Some of them we saved here. Only a Sturgeon recruit has died. Can get some of these. And also our friend here got downed. But that was to be expected there. Imperial Palatine Guard. Or do we go with the archers? I guess we'll just go with normal archers. More spears. How many spears do we have? Sturgeon Spearman only three. So we're good for now. Let's put five. And f we went five with brigands, which will turn us turn into cavalry. And we went with Sturgeon hunters with the rest. Over on this side, I guess I'll be bringing a few more infantry warriors. Okay, that's it. What did we gain here? A bit of an old fur coat. I feel like we have some upgrades for our friend, but nothing for us. Let's see. A better mount. Except for maneuvering. I guess I do not want to replace it necessarily. Hmm... This one is better, it has less length, but overall it is better. So I'm just gonna give him that. Or no, it's the Jagged Spear that's better, this one is longer. Okay, so I guess we do not have an upgrade, but we just have some loot. Thank you, sir. He will be informed that we helped him. Great. Let's see, our relationship has been increased here, which is good. Let's see what other quests we have. As far as our level up goes, what do we want to do here? Go into crossbow? Get a bit more in riding. Fighting on foot should also be important. Scouting, tactics, a bit more trading, your workshop gather trade rumors, 15% decrease in sell price penalty for animals or 15% decrease in buy price penalty from villages and your caravan gather trade rumors, okay, so we could go with trading as well. Some stewardship, all troops gain daily experiences, okay. Medicine or engineer. We would need some points in engineer, but we're not gonna do it for a very long time. And thus I feel it's either we take cavalry. Halves the chances of your mount becoming lame or dead after it falls in battle. Ooh, I didn't know that it could do... Uh, something like that could happen. Govern Selman gain more prosperity or mounts of your commanded troops have 10% more hit points and increase your mounts hit points by 20%. Oof. This is a bit unfortunate. Personal slash captain, okay? Let me get a few more points in athletics. We haven't really been walking to gain a lot of skill there, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to try it at least. What do we have here? The art of the trade. I don't think I really care for something like that. Let's see. 
It's only the gang leader that has a mission, so we don't care about that. We're just gonna sell some of these items. Stolen goods, a price of one. This item is more expensive, apparently. Can we sell anything? No, not for a good price. Neither the tools. But we can sell some of these. Say done. Now let's visit... What are you? You are just a wanderer. Lamkar the shark. Peace what are you, you stranger? I wonder... What are you good at? So you are one-handed, athletics, roguery and throwing master. I don't need another one like you. What do we need now is what? If I take a look at the party. Let's see, parties here. We need a quartermaster, a scout or an engineer. Engineer will keep them for later. It's mostly this, Quartermaster or Scout, to replace us. Recall this member to your party. Huh, so we can actually have our brother within our team. Maybe. But I guess I'll just leave him there for now. Let's try to make our way where? Get some wood from here, try to get some silver. We're gonna go to Varnovapol first. See if there's anything interesting here, if we can participate maybe in a tournament or something like that. Go to the cape. If I go here, once again we have to bribe, but we have good money, right? Sure, let's pay the money and let's talk to Raganvad, ruler of Sturgia. Let's see. Shall we, let's visit. Let's take a look at Yours how this whole looks. Okay, king of the Sturgians, I am the lord of Varchek and Balgard. Know that if you ever cross me, you'll wind up as food for the ravens. Can you tell me anything about the Battle of Pendrake? Yes, the day my father died, thanks to Batanian treachery. When they pledged to support us in battle, we believed they would stand with us in the shield wall like men. But of course, this is not the Batanian way. They sprung some woodland trickery up in the hills, killed off Neretz's bodyguards, and no doubt spent the rest of the battle whooping and boasting and chopping the heads of men who were already dead. It was the Sturgians who met Neretze's guard face to face. My father ordered me to stay back as he led them into the battle, but he was at their head. He forced them back, then they broke and ran for shelter of their camp. We went and attacked the ramparts and broke them, but my father was hit by an imperial mace at the moment of his triumph and died. I will never forget when the messenger ran to tell me that my father was dead. But I knew I must swallow my grief because now I was king. I rode down into the ruins of the imperial camp to take their banner as a trophy. My inheritance won by my father and passed down to me. Oh, some of the boyars were insubordinate, but I have since showed them that I am master. Let's see, what, are, what is he? He is close-fisted, devious, daring, cruel and calculating. Okay, so the current Grand Prince, harsh and uncompromising, he believed that this is the right of the Prince to command the boyars in all things, not just in making war. For the time being, they obey him, not least for his ability to call on the kinsmen of his mother, a Nordic princess with ties to the fearsome, it's called the Broda mercenary camp. Okay. It's interesting as an idea. Okay, thank you for letting us know. Let's see. I would like to propose an alliance. I would like to enter your service. Let's see, what does that? And how would you serve us? My sword is yours? Yes, we are hiring. We pay you to fight, though not just... 
to ride around the countryside, you'll get 130 whenever you take down an enemy party or do similar service. Okay, well, what are they at war with? Like, if we'd have to go for this, they are at war with the Southern Empire and the Lake Rats. Let me think about it. Okay, yeah, we, it's a bit early to take on some faction leaders. Can we discuss anything? Do you have any thoughts on politics? The boy are swore an oath to my grandfather to obey him as prince. They begged him to save them from the wrath of the empire, which they had stirred up with their raids and their lawless ways. My fa grandfather did save the boyars, and ever since, their thankless heirs have tried to weasel out of that oath. They like to quarrel and take what they want and care for nothing for the realm. I will break them by the heavens, I will bring them to heal, or the knife will fall on them. Okay. So this is pretty much setting up the situation for the future. Hey. Uh, yeah. I don't think I know you. Who is Peace she? You, she stranger. is a noble vassal of Landia de Molarn. Okay. Uh, let's see. C could we do anything there? Can you tell me anything about this? Dirt Hert knows something about it, and you are from Vlandia. I'm guessing that maybe she's just captured or something. It's been a while. Milanka, you already had a family. Right? Father, sister, brother? No, she did not. Okay, a steward, a trader and a ro good at riding. Okay. I have a proposal which might benefit both of us. Yeah, I have nothing. I don't know if there's really anything that we could do here just to visit some people or what do we do? How do we create a relationship? I forgot about this. Because in the end we will want some heirs. Revenue farming or the spy among... Ooh, let's talk about this. I heard you might have a problem. I am hosting a tournament at Varchek. I am expecting contenders to partake from all over the realm. I have my reasons to believe that one of the attending warriors is actual a spy sent to gather information about its defenses. Any traveler can be asked by an enemy to spy on their places he travels. How can I track this one down? Of course, I have employed spies myself, but if a tournament participant is asking questions about the state of the garrison and the walls, things which would concern no honest traveler, well, between that and the private information I've received, I think we'd have our man. The spy must be hiding inside Varchek. Once you are there, start questioning the townsfolk. Is there any other way to solve the asking things around well you can sign your companion of wars with a knack for this kind of game and enough muscles to back him up so we would need a companion which i do not think that we have right now let's see kingdoms clans can we see ours I can't go in my party just yet. I don't think he's good necessarily at this. I will find the one you are looking for. Good, we understand that the spy is going to Varchek if they're trying to gather information. They'll be wandering around the market asking questions in the guise of making small talk. Just go around talking to the townsfolk and you should be able to figure out who he is. So Varchek is to the left there. And you want to talk about like look how many people are here. Talk. It's been a while. Is there a problem? I don't think you can help me. You don't have enough men. Okay, fair enough. Can I recruit some troops from here? They're low level. But we're gonna get to 49 here. 
arena, we have a tournament going, there are 5 lords, because there are plenty of them here. And I would like to try Mary Luck again. We're starting with a Sturgeon Hunter against 2 lords. Very curious to see how this goes. Okay. I mean, as long as we're fighting with one-handed weapon, things should be going quite well for us. Okay, one of you is down. Huh. <laughs> Who knew that I could take down a few lords, but I guess as long as we're fighting with one arm, it's going to be really good for us. Let's put some money down, right? Once again, we're fighting with a Sturkian Hunter. This might be a bit more tricky. What do we have here? A spear? Oof. Not my thing. some damage there but once again this is very difficult we're not really doing a whole lot of damage even when we attack in a sense neither does he okay let's have this kind of a double team here right I mean the other guy seems less armored so what I'm hoping here Yeah, our shield is almost out Okay, we got a good hit there Oof, he got a good hit on us. Seems like they have some sort of sword, like when on horses. Oof. Yeah, I'm trying to protect myself against two things here. One is the Lord and the second one is the horse there. Now I am hoping that... Oof. Come on. Good, we've done some more damage there. Come on, attack him. Ah, he attacked us. I think we can still move forward. No. We lost there. It was by teams. So that was it for this one. Hey, at least we tried. We were at a disadvantage there. We'll ransom our prisoners and we're gonna continue forward. Let's leave. And I'm going to Varcheg. But we're taking Balgard first as a stop. You can see that there are caravans going in and out of these places. More tournaments being run. The Spy Among Us, it will be 15 days. As a deadline, let's see, what else do we have here? Okay, a lot of troops to recruit. In the tavern district, we have Rinana the Wanderer. Yours is not well, what are you good I at? Know. You have it's good throwing, stranger. good tactics, pretty good leadership, scouting, polearm riding, and one-handed. She's of the Asarai culture. Okay. Don't care for the situation. 
but I could use her in our company. That is really good. Let's take a look at her. So she has a lot of... Oh, this is our brother. He has a lot of skills and attribute points. I guess we'll have to assign it to him. I'll try to assign it off camera because there are too many to go through. We don't want to be overwhelmed by information and just spend a lot of time in the episode just assigning it. It's better to grow together, right? Now, she could take a few roles. If I go to the party management screen, well, it's in, in this one. Clan, party, let's see, quartermaster. It doesn't seem like she's gonna offer us a lot. But she would be probably better here. Let's see. So, track detection radius 4.7. She has 8. 80 distance. Spotting distance 4.8. And track information 3.2. So, she is better as a quartermaster. I wonder if we're still gonna get experience from scouting. I, that is something that I do not know at this point. But we'll see if that is the case. And I will want to give her... First of all, a better horse. I could even give her the TL horse, but we're not gonna do that. Just give her a step horse. And we'll try to find a bit more weapons and armors for her. But just for the moment, I think getting a shield is just a decent step forward, right? There we go. Probably better to take this pole arm, this jagged spear, and give it to her because she was good with it. There we go. On this one, go to the keep, there's nothing to do. Go to the arena, there's no fight going on. If we trade the goods, there's a bit of clay apparently. Iron ore is very cheap. Tools are very cheap too. Hmm. Can't really sell it here. I wonder what this is. I really want to see what that... That looks... It might be clay. One troop has deserted from our party, just because we were over our limit, I guess. You... Biram of Ov needs help with brigands. We can do that. Buy products. What is this? It's flax. Okay. We can buy a lot of flax. It's cheap. Yours is not a face I know. Is there a problem you need help with? Yes. And the area is infested. We can leave 11 of our men and a companion to patrol the area for 7 days. No, we'll just hunt the brigand because we need weapons and armor. So, what are we going to do here? Destroy three parties from the area. Okay, there is one. We just have to catch it. Let's fight. As you can see, the land takes shape depending on... Arms like the bar. Uh, no, not loose. Uh, what do I want to say here? Let's form a line and let's go to charge. But you are fighting on the land depending on the surroundings, which is... Once again, another strategic move that you can do. Fighting near the sea doesn't really matter too much. Fighting in the forest might matter a lot, especially when fighting a lot of cavalry. You want to fight within, within the forest. Okay. They've been engaged here, so I can try to cause some damage. Gonna be targeted. Yeah. 
this battle over? Yep. One battle over, we have some level ups. Sturgeon, Heavy Axeman or a Heavy Spearman? I'm guessing we're gonna go with Heavy Axeman, right? At this point we're not really fighting infantry, or not fighting cavalry, not infantry. Fine Scarf, we'll do this one. Give her some javelins. This shield seems to be better. This is better armor. And better shoes. So overall it was a good day. One out of three bing guns, we have another one here. A bunch we're of looters. A yeah, we're actually fighting two bands of looters. Everyone. Yeah, let's just say attack. Get them. Just look at these lands. We have throwing axes, okay, we don't have a lot of throwing skill, but I feel like trying to get some ability here with these throwing things. Oh, apparently that was it, free throwing axes. Okay, yeah, I can do a bit of this. Nice. At this point... At this point this is easy, at least brigands, they weren't a huge challenge back then either, but right now it's definitely not one. That's it. Next. More upgrades, more infantry, and we'll have our first cavalry, Sturgeon Cavalry. Great. I feel like this arm wraps, she doesn't have any kind of gloves, so we can give her the arm wraps. This is better, as a helmet, and that's pretty much it. Okay, we killed the brigands that we needed. We gained some reputation, so it's time to go to Varcheg actually. We're 13, we have 30 more days to discover the spy, and I would like to do that. Okay, so Rinana the Wanderer gained skill points in scouting, so it's our characters, our companions that are gaining those skills. Hmm. Okay, so there's a plus and a minus there to having our party do this because we are not going to gain any extra experience in this situation, for example. Thus, as a party leader, whenever the case might be. Hmm... I wonder if I should be really focusing any more on this or like leave the companions do it or should I be doing it just to get some more points. Okay, trade. Show me something that's good here. Like I would like to sell this. Flax, a price of 16. Yeah, it doesn't really catch a good price. Maybe we'll sell this first before we do anything else. And let's see. Iron War has a price of 100. It doesn't stay up. So I'm going just to sell 5. Food. We don't have any more food. Which makes me think that we should probably start thinking about adding... That's it. Okay, like if I was to go here to the parties and remove you as surgeon, 
we would lose our healing rate. We would lose the healing rate for heroes too. And casualty survival chance. But you know what? For the moment, let's just leave it on us. Because I want the experience instead. Okay. So over here, let's see. There are spy disguised among the tournament attendees. You agree to take care of the situation by yourself. He believes that the spy is posing as a tournament attendee in the city of Varchek. So we'll probably need to wait a while here. Do I have the money to buy any kind of better axe? A battle axe has one less handling point, has more length, and a good enough swing speed. It costs 4,000. It's most of our money. So the answer to my question is yes, there is, but... It is expensive. Let's wait for here for a day. If I enter the arena, can I talk with someone? Let's see. I'd like to participate. Are there tournaments going in nearby town? There are a few. Okay, there's nothing here. Probably uh, there might be something if I go and visit the city. Go to the arena, no. Let's see, enter the arena. Let's see if we can exit the arena and talk to someone. Maybe there's a spire around here. Good. Peace to you. Chasing down bandits like that, I suppose it has to be done. Oh, so this is our companion. He's following us. Yes, he is. We are wearing our... How do you say? Everyday clothes? We should be giving him some weapons and armors as well. I don't know if this guy... If any of these has any kind of information, let's see. Sturgeon warrior has been too quiet for too long. So we can see some of our warriors or some of the people who would even participate in different rounds of a tournament year round. What else is going on here? We have a dancer. Oh, they are actually playing. Hi. I hear that Buttermilk Litka is going to sort it out, the Sleepy Priana, once and for all. Oh, so these are like rumors. Ah, my apologies, sir. May I help you with something? Listen to me, have any of the tournament participants spent long hours in the market and tavern, more than usual? No, sorry, haven't seen anything like that. Okay, you know what, let's see if we can ask any of the tavern keepers, right? Go to, not the keep, but we'll go to the tavern. Good day, how can I help you? Looking for someone with skills, might look for someone who wants to give a task, okay. Ransom broker, townsman, townswoman. The tavern main. I'll have that, sure. Okay, I can't ask her for anything. 
trying to find out some rumors. Listen to me, I'm on an assignment from Raganvad. Have any strangers been around asking? Like, yeah, I'm looking for someone. Rinana the Wanderer. Okay, no. Okay, hello, sir. Do you have the bearing of a warrior? Okay, so this is the guy we are selling to. I wish to ransom one of my companions, so maybe that is one way in which we can buy them. Act normal, have any of the participants in the tournament come around asking very odd? Hmm, maybe, but I can't remember who. I didn't think anything suspicious. Okay, keep your eyes open. I mean, can we try asking again? Not to me, sir. No, I did overhear someone talking to another merchant about such things. I remember him because he had the nasty looking sword by his side. Okay, so what do we have here? Like, if I'm going to go to this, the spy is known to carry a sword. Oh, we're gonna play. And what do I do here? Trade the... I think I might just have to take a walk around the town and try to see where the merchants are. Confident contender. Waterfront, okay. Dignifying contender. So I am guessing that if we go through here. Slippery Brianna, Sogar the Trainer, Bold Contender. Buttermilk Litka. Yeah, I am guessing that some of these or one of these is one of the spies. But how do we find out who? Because at the moment we just know that someone was carrying a sword, a nasty looking sword and thus maybe he was a spy? But that is a very long road until we find out who. I'm gonna ask the Tanner to see if he has any idea. And probably after this I should be spending some time just trying to get enough money to buy one of these workshops. Have anyone asked weird question? Why yes, at the tavern last night, cornered a drunk and kept pressing him for information about the gatehouse. Had a beard that one did. So has a beard. Well now, stranger. I'm looking for a spy. I've seen warriors in the wandering about asking too many suspicious questions. I speak to many people. Of course I as I am loyal to Rag Gunfart. I'm always on the lookout for spies, but I've seen no one like this, okay. So this one has a beard and it has a sword. Slippery be Brianna, Brewery, Bold Contender, yeah, look at, look at them, they, they now have Can I hide that sword? I do not know. It seems like two of them have question marks, which mean that maybe both of them either have beards and swords or maybe just one of them. Let's take a look. So we just know at this point that one has a beard and a sword. Do you have a beard? You seem to have a beard. You also have a sword. Yeah, okay, so he could be one. There are some tugs here. I don't think they really care to help me. 
<laughs> what do you want? Just passing through what goes on here. I'm just having a look. Do you mind? Yeah, nothing. Let's not get into fights here. Okay. Confident contender and dignified contender. Let's see if the other people like have beards and all that. Let's see if she knows anything. Listen to me, have you any of the tournament participants spent long hours in the market and tavern? More than usual. No, sorry, haven't seen anything like that. Okay, thank you for the information then. I wonder how many... Like, there's, there has to be some sort of a limit here, right? There's a hardy contender there, so... There's... Four targets, I guess? There has to be a limit on how many people you could ask, I would say. There's a barber. That is good to know. Means we can change our look whenever we feel like it. What are these? Merchant Notary. People gossip. Everyone around here, you've been asking those questions. Your query is going to slip away if you don't move quickly. Okay. So, at this point, yeah, we people are starting to notice because we've asked way too many questions. So, I don't know if that means that we are getting closer or if that means that we are just on the right path. Hardy Contender... This guy does not have a sword, he does not have a beard, so I can remove you from our list. This game one makes me want to play now that winter is coming. It hasn't snowed yet where I live, like in the country it has snowed at higher heights, but it, does, it hasn't snowed where I live yet. It started raining, it's pretty wet. And it is fairly cold. They announced that snow might come. But for the moment, uh, nothing happened. So we're, I'm still waiting for it. But it makes me also want to play The Division. And I have played, I have a playlist of The Division already on the channel. If you don't know The Division, take a look. It is a sh modern day shooter game where well, it is about a virus spreading, which <laughs> maybe you've had enough of. But it has been really cool. Like, that is a cool game with a cool story and it's quite fun to explore it. I still like it more than The Division 1 because there's so much. You spend a lot of time in the snow. Winter is my favorite season right after autumn I'm guessing I don't think I, I like autumn that much anymore I really enjoyed it when I was younger but now I feel like the winter snows are something that bring more joy to me and I'm really looking forward to the holiday and even trying to think of what I sh should be playing now that the holidays are around the corner Is there a way to go back, to go down for, from here, or do I just have to jump and... Well, that guy has a beard and a menacing sword. I'm not sure he has a sword, he has a beard, but he definitely has a sword. Or maybe they are axes. Let's ask one more person here to see if maybe we can get something. Yeah, I've seen one like that asking all matter of outlandish question. Middle age, normal head of hair. So he, I have to look for someone who's middle age and has normal hair. The bald guy goes out of the question. He had beard, he had the sword. So normal hair, if you do not have a beard. Well, rats, what, do you, what type of weapon do you have? That looks 
That that is an axe. It's not a sword. If you have a sword, that is a sword. I think we might have just found our guy. Hello there, friend. Are you here for the tournament? No, my friend. I am on a hunt. I'm hunting a spy and now I've, I have found him. You have nothing on me. If you try to take me anywhere, I'll kill you. And it will be in self-defense. Not if it's a duel, I challenge you. No true tournament fighter would refuse. Hmm, very well. I shall wipe out the insult with your blood. Okay, apparently we're fighting in the arena. And we're fighting with our very own weapons and armors. He has a weird sword for this area, right? So he might be the spy. He has no helmet, which is very bad for him, I would say. Okay. So... What does this... We've completed the quest. Our relationship has increased, so we were right there. We got some extra charm, that is really cool for us. We got some extra experience as well from our traits. Let's make one more spear here. And one more warrior. There we go. Is there anything else I want to do in this area? I don't think so at least. Let's see, if we go to the arena there's nothing going on. So I am thinking at this point we might just go forward, right? Try to do something else. Do we want to visit Senon or something? There is another town up here. Let's check Reville as well. Some sea raiders around. There's a hideout. I don't think we can attack it during the day. So let's wait until nightfall and then clear it out. Yeah, we gain more skill points in scouting. That is good. Let's attack. And who do we want to take with us? Rinana would be good as a party leader or as a warrior not a party leader do i want to bring some heavy axemen you know what probably or just take like two archers just to have someone to shoot from a distance why not let's try this out let's see if we can clear the camp out i'm guessing that we have enough potential power now this time we are better armored, we have more skills, so I'm thinking that overall we should be in a good situation here to take care of this sea bandit. Yeah, they have their javelins, so we have to be careful. Oof, took some damage there. He was a bit quicker than me. But we took him down. Let's see. How do we go forward here? Like, do we care to... I guess we'll clear these areas and then we're gonna go into the cave. Yeah, you should... Those archers should really... You know what? I will ask the archers. Archers. Let's ask you to follow us I mean these guys have shields right so if they're throwing the enemy throws javelins at least we'll have a chance to protect ourselves yeah! the archers do not have the chance to do that One down. The 
Let's see, do we keep going forward? Okay. Apparently there are some enemies upstairs. So I'm just gonna do the same, we're gonna go up there. At the end of the day, I don't think we need to take care of everyone, we just need to take down enough for that to go down. And I believe that if the bandits now will ask for a duel, we're just gonna accept it. Should I just let my troops do their own thing? And go my own way? I mean, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea if you think about it. But there's only... yeah, okay, so he... Nana did her job. And now we can fight this guy. And I believe that I might be in a good situation to where I could do this. We'll accept the duel. Okay, so that big axe will have a bigger chance to, to break our shields. We won the duel. That is it, we gained some skills. Sea Raider Chiefs, yeah, we got a few prisoners with us, which is awesome. And what else? Ooh, we got a good helmet. Nasal hel Helm over Leather, 23 protection. Great, it's an upgrade. A cleaver. Now, I, I want to use axes, but I'm going to give it to my party. Let's see, this one-handed axe has a higher swing speed, less swing damage, but more length and better handling. It's not a huge improvement, so I'm not going to use it. The shield is not an improvement. Fine wrapped boots, okay, don't care, don't care. I would have loved to get his armor. But apparently on this occasion we did not. However, I feel like we could give some of these weapons and armors to our party. That's better. These are better. Let's see, what do you have here? You have a sword. This one would have a lot less length. I guess the cleaver would be the best one to offer. The short sword has, doesn't have a huge amount of length. So on a horseback, that is not going to help at all. But on foot, this can work. Sure, I'll give you the short spear here as well. And that's about it. It's your relation increased by two with nearby notables. That's great. And let's go to Revel. There's another quest over here. Let's check it out. Landlord needs access to Korea to the Corsia's comments. I don't know what that means, but let's see. Yours is not a feast. I've heard of you. At last we meet. You sound like a good man to know. Let us speak. Okay, so our, pre our reputation is starting to show. I recently brought the right to graze cattle near the village of Corsia's. Good pasture land is hard to find, but now the locals are giving my herdsmen trouble. They don't want to share the pastures, but I spend my silver and I hold the title deed. I need someone to ride alongside my herdsman, clear off anyone who gets in their way. Any other way? You or one of your companions with some eight men should do the job. Either way, I'm willing to pay 446. I doubt they stand up long to real warriors. I don't really want to get into this kind of situation. I'm not sure it's going to improve our reputation necessarily. Yeah, I'll sell some of these and we're good. Byproducts, yeah, fine. Let's get to Revel. We 
we gain two more points in stewardship. Where are we with steward? Well, we're still a bit away. Overpriced raw materials at Revel. We could do that. Let's ransom our prisoners. We have a huntress. Well, what are you good at? Well now, stranger. She is Vlandian, she's a wanderer, she has crossbow skill, scouting skill and one-handed. We already have a s scout, so I do not want another one. Trade, tell me that you buy any of these goods at a good price. Nope, you do not. To think that neither of you buy it as a, at a good price, it's really unfortunate. But we can buy a bit more of this. We got this steel round shield. Let's say 30 foot here. Go to the arena, nothing to do. Go to the tavern district, that should be it for now. I think we can attack them and I don't need to fight. Like, look at this. We're just gonna send our troops now. We're gonna fast forward it. Yeah. No problem. Get our prisoners. Get some of this stuff. And that's it. We have 8k. And I'm trying to figure out like what would be the best step forward clan tier what would be the next tier so for these eligible for being a vassal at the next level i see so if we do a bit more scouting around we're gonna try to get some quests going our next tier would be at 150 we need about 49 more renown in order to start becoming available for being a vassal it's good to know Let's see, do I, should I just call our brother? I really feel like we should just leave him and have him prepare for whatever the future might bring. Nobles to talk to, 5 out of 10. I almost feel like we should be spending some time in these other lands trying to find out what Neretze's situation is with this, right? Investigate Neretze's... Because I feel like I remember correctly that there was some sort of a meaning to discovering like that banner. There's something that we could do with it later on. Go to the arena. Okay, so there's no tournament there. And thus we'll just start by going south. And let's see, anything going on here? Nothing at the moment, ransom our prisoners. If we go to the tavern district, there's no one here. And I guess for the moment this will have to be it. These are a few other mercenary companies. We could try to fight them, but you can see that they have a lot more troops than we do. I'm guessing the quality of the troops is also good. Extortion by deserters, sure, we'll Peace to you, talk to you. I heard you have a problem. And let's join them in the fight. And if I remember correctly, we just have to wait. Yep, let's wait here for a while. And there we go. 28 forces are coming towards us. It is time to fight. Missing formation for the horses. Let's see, horses. There we go, ready. Attack! And let's just attack. This 
time there are Surgen warriors, like some of them are buffer, but with them being distracted on that side, they can just cause a lot of damage. Now they're retreating, we're not gonna let them retreat, we're gonna take down as many of them as we can. And as we hit. There we go, you are down, you are down. Is there anyone else here? Yeah, there's one more. Let's run you down. Oh, no, battle one, he left the arena, so we just gained some renown. These ones, we could keep in our party and we'll be able to recruit them. Which is a big win for us. We have another cavalry there. Let's make another heavy axeman. Two more troops that we will make into warriors. Make another one of you into a brigand. Let's see, some line breakers. Let's have some of those in our army. And that should be it. You will use one horse. Ah. So we also need, if we want to upgrade our cavalry, we need horses now. Good to know. So we'll have to pay attention in the future what we are using. Good stuff. But we found we got four more horses now. This one might be a better helmet. No, it isn't. Okay, a bit of a van brace there. And that seems to be about it. Let's talk to you. Here is what we promised. 1600 denars. I hope this makes it worth the blood spilled. Let's say keep your coin, Headman. Okay, this has increased our renown as well. I am doing this mostly because I want to increase our renown. I want us to be liked by these people because one day we might be leading them and thus it's going to be, it's going to count a lot what we decide to do. Well, that is all the time that we have for today. I hope you have enjoyed it and until tomorrow, I thank you very much for watching and I wish you all to have a wonderful day.